Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2008 Honda Accord we have on a lot. It's in white and um, looks pretty good. It's got like a tan interior, white exterior. So it kind of help, helps keep it cool here in the hot days like it is today. Um, we do have steel wheels with hubcaps. And uh, let's check this out. I'm going to go ahead and open up the trunk so we can check that out. Pretty good size trunk back here. There's a little button right here, a little knob to where you can pull that and it knocks one of the seats down. So in case you were trying to put something in here and it won't fit, you can just pull that. Alrighty, here's the inside of the back seat, inside of the back door. Got a pretty good sized pocket right there. And uh, other than that, pretty basic. Um, here's the nice seats. Everything's cloth. And for the light interior, it looks like it's pretty good shape. Um, there's cup holders there. Pretty much airbags all the way around. Here's the inside of the front door pretty good amount of pocket storage there and you've got some uh, window door lock and side mirror controls there uh, we've got manual adjustments on the seat I do see a what appears to be a burn hole there in the seat there and on the other side I'm gonna go ahead and hop in now I'm not I shut the door now, I'm not really noticing a strong odor as far as smoke. Um, it's like a cigarette odor. Some cars you can kind of get in and really tell. Right now, I see the, uh, the burn holes in the seat, so I'm assuming it's been smoked in. But I'm not really... I don't really smell like a strong smell as far as the, the you know cigarette smell right now. You know, it could be just because the car has been detailed and cleaned, um, or it could be that I'm just don't have a really good sense of smell. But anyway, apparently it has been smoked in because there is burn holes in the seat. Um, here is the gauges right here. Pretty basic and simple, easy to read. Steering wheel. You got your volume controls here. Cruise control settings here. Um, lights there's your windshield wipers um, we've got a I don't know if you can see with the glare we've got like a cl digital clock there and some basic information regarding the stereo and stuff there you know, make sure this doesn't interfere with the camera too much um, turn that on turn that on too it's hot day let's turn on the max AC there because it's really hot um, and the air conditioner is cold, it's just a hot day. Uh, now here's your, your climate control settings there, and below it here is your radio, um, it does have an MP3 player, um, CD, and basically you've got your controls, you've got big buttons, I like the way it's got big buttons here. You just grab it and, and go. And here's like a little pocket in here. Pretty good, pretty good size, I put my whole hand in there. And same thing down there, got a, some storage. Um, this lifts up, that lifts up, you got a power supply, got a little storage area there. There's your shifter, cup holders there. Here's a, here's a little armrest which lifts up and you have some storage in here. And I see our auxiliary input and a power supply in there as well. So you can hook up your, you know, uh, phone or mp3 player to the sound system and play right off of that here's a glove compartment which pretty good size up here we've got some lights place to put your shades right there we've got visors with mirrors and lights 
Same thing on the other side. Let's see what it looks like back here. You see the headliner looks pretty good. Alrighty, if you're interested in this vehicle, let me know. Come on and test drive it and see if it's right for you. Um, my name is Mike, and my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.